Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. And today is Sunday the 20th. I was so many times I've my watch, I don't remember what damn day it is. So I know what day it is, I just forget the number. So um, it is what it is. Uh, woke up this morning, uh, we got decent sleep, went to bed fairly decent time. We were up sort of yesterday, so it definitely um, we're it's good to get some sleep. Went ahead, got this morning, um, still raining, raining like crazy, just insane amount of rain. Um, it is what it is. We can see kind of the results of that. That's the lake back here in my backyard. The dogs are playing in finally. But um, got this morning, and it was, like I said, just crazy rain. The dogs wouldn't go out. So I finally had to put them on leash, drag them out front. Uh, finally got them to pee again. Um, they did not want to. Um, Bruce and Rex, the big two over there, the, um, the um, dapper, the marble-looking one, and then Bruce and stuff, they both um, actually went potty outside um, real well. They went poop and stuff. Um, Levi pooped in the house. He's just so scared of the weather. He's like absolutely ridiculous. It's been raining for, shit, I don't know, 18 hours, some crap? It was like ridiculous. It rained like, it was tw right, probably close to 20 hours, I think, of rain. I, think, I don't know what we got. Somebody said we got like 12 inches of rain. We had a retention um, pond breach. It was leaking, it was, you know, causing issues, all kinds of stuff. Just definitely, definitely a pain in the butt. Um, I went and bought a sump pump. Karen and I went out, left the house today. Um, took the car out, went or took the truck out because the water was deep enough. <clears throat> and um, bought a pump that we could hook in the backyard. Run the hose up to the front. So my fronts, the roads lower, so it'll run. I got like a hump where my house sits. Yard, the roads are the lowest, my backyard second lowest, and the house is the highest. So I run it up over top of that through the side of the house, and then basically pumping it out front. And it seems like it's making a difference. Once the rain stopped, I could notice that I think the pump's working. Like I'm pumping out 1,600 gallons an hour, I think is what it said. It's a lot. It's just, just it's full on, just running the whole time here. And um, doing well. Uh, finally brought the dogs out in the evening once the rain stopped. And I thought, you know, let's just take them out back so I could play a little bit. Because I've been taking them out in the front and the leash. And they, they're so pent up energy. They finally, like, the rain stopped. And as you can tell, the fear and stuff needs to be burned off them. So I brought them out here in the backyard. And it was getting dark. And I tried to film it and it didn't really turn out because it was just too dark. But the dogs started running around the yard and just literally running hot laps and just chasing each other and wrestling and just, oh my God, having so much fun. And I, it's just, oh, it's amazing how much they had. They had a freaking blast out here. Made a hell of a mess. Had to bring them back inside and like clean them up and stuff. It's a pain in the butt. But it's what they needed. We were out here for probably two hours or so just because it needed to burn off. Let them burn it off. So we also, uh, middle of the day, we got a call. And um, Karen's ex-husband passed away of COVID. Her cousin passed away yesterday. Her ex-husband passed away today. Her son and um, her ex-husband's um, new wife both are at home and they both have COVID as well, but they're not um, not showing as much symptoms. They both have a fever. I guess the ex-wife just finally started presenting, or not the ex-wife, sorry, the uh, new wife <clears throat> just started presenting uh, with a cough and a fever and definitely uh, just kind of scary in that process. You can see the puppies there jumping around and stuff. But um, yeah, it kind of sucks. It's a scary thing. Um, she she's known this man her whole life almost like they you know they grew up together and stuff hanging they were married for 20 plus years and it hit her hard like it hit her real hard and like you expect it to and the two Dane ex the Danes just came over and like trying to lay her so I was just holding her I was in the chair just like holding her just letting her cry and the dogs were like hey what's going on like can we do anything for this like they were just you could tell like they're such sensitive dogs they really are and it was just it was sad it really sucked and there's nothing you can do and her son like I said he's stuck at the house with COVID and you can't go over there because it's COVID. You know, nobody can go be with him. Nobody can go help him and stuff. And it just sucks miserably. Absolutely just sucks miserably. So who knows? It is what it is. But yeah, um, hung out here in the backyard. Let the dogs play and stuff as much as we could. Um, just tried to, I don't know, try to take our mind off it. Before the call came, Karen had been cooking the turkey. We um, were basically, we had a turkey left over from last Thanksgiving that somebody gave us. And she was cooking it up. She made corn souffle. She made... Um, all kinds of all kinds of stuff you know just like the um dressing or stuffing we want to call it and stuff we had mashed potatoes just it was a thanksgiving dinner literally was thanksgiving dinner um, cranberry sauce the whole nine yards and then we get the call that her ex passed away and we'd already eaten and she had to put all that stuff away and she literally was just like she goes start putting stuff away and just go sit down and just you know it was just it's overwhelming and she can't go be with her son and that's the part that just absolutely kills us is the fact that she can't help him you know and it's just he's not doing well with it i mean he's i don't know it is what it is so it just sucks absolutely it's just a miserable i don't know how you go there and think like this is all a hoax and it's all bullshit well it, that i mean it's ridiculous her aunt and uncle lost like you know two kids in one day or two days you know basically you know 30 hours apart whatever you know it's like it's I don't know, it just sucks so it is what it is but yeah i just 
it's hard. It really is. So we just tried to take our mind off it. We tried to just kind of stay away. And then I basically, when she's making a bunch of phone calls and talking to other people and stuff, I just came out here in the patio and had myself a cigar and basically made a couple phone calls, talked to my buddy, talked to my mom a little bit, and then basically just hung out here and let the dogs up here so she could just kind of have her own time to kind of do what she needed to do to cope with it. And it just sucks. So... That's all I got for right now. So, guys, I just want to say, man, if there's hanging out there and stuff going on, if you can overcome it. I got family that, that, that don't talk to me. I've tried to talk to them over and over, and they don't talk to me, and I've given up on it. But if you got some little dumb shit that you could squash and you could go back to being around good, you know, family and you guys get along, let's go squash that shit. You know, just, you know, do your best. I've tried and tried, and I've given up trying because I just, like I said, I, you know, 12 years or so of this crap, 15 years now probably, I've been trying to, you know, fight with that stuff and it's just it's not getting an ounce better with uh, my family but i just give up on the whole thing there but don't give up guys keep trying if it's possible and maybe after you know decade and a half two decades you could give up then too but i wish you all the best and man just got there tell your you know tell people you love them let them know how you feel and move on from there so anyway it's all i got for right now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching